Hey guys, how's it going? We're on Alliance. It's finally that time. Void Elves aren't out yet, but uh, I'm making an Alliance tune because the uh, people that want to play with me on Alliance always talk about wanting to play with me, and then I'm just kind of not able to do it. So uh, yeah, we'll make this guy look like a pervert. Uh, that looks about right. Because, boy, his head doesn't look right. Whatever, we'll just do that. And then, uh, we're obviously going to make him old. Where's the most pervy face? That just looks like a constant concern face, so we'll, uh, we'll keep that. And we'll make him super white. Hmm. Yeah, that looks like just a constant afraid face. Um, classic name. All right, let's let's get into it. So all the zones have been. I don't want to say revamped, but the leveling scales better now, and the mobs scale better now. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Honestly, I I don't know what to expect. I've heard people sometimes wipe in dungeons now. Emboldened by the return. So uh, I'm excited to see what dungeons are like. I'm just excited to see how the leveling is affected, too, in general. Oh, fuck. I totally forgot about all my add-ons. Okay. So, first things first. We're obviously going to make all of these... Um... What else is there? I don't think we have legs yet. Okay, legs, and neck, and that's about it, right? Okay, I'm just going to reload so the Gladius thing goes away. And... We're good, okay. So... Let's see. Where's my mount? There's the chauffeur mount that I could use. There it is. Okay. So. What level do I get my... Uh, level 5. Okay. I mean, I'm not one-shotting things, so I guess that's a start. Let's just disable Trophy GCD. I don't think anyone wants to see that. Just uh, get rid of that. Or we'll use it, but we'll move it, I guess. Okay. God dang. Setting up add ons, it's like the always just the pain in the ass, you know? And turning on auto loot. Okay. Controls, auto loop. Okay, we're golden now. Now I just need to play with my bars. Like so. Move that, that. Uh, move that down. There. Get rid of that shit whenever I can. The Blizzard art bar looks... It's been the same thing since vanilla, right? Okay. So yeah, the point of this, I don't know, just to show you guys what leveling's like now with the new revamp zones. I'm excited to see just kind of how long I can stay in one zone. And then how much dungeons will affect everything. I don't know. I'm just excited, I guess. I want to see if I can honestly just get the 60 going from, I guess, Red Ridge, Elwyn, and uh, Duskwood. I bet I could get 60. Just doing that. It's gonna suck not having gold, though. These don't give stats yet. That's very interesting. So they really did nerf heirlooms. Hit him for 69. It was destiny. Yeah. <laughs> 
So it is taking longer to kill things. Uh, I used to be able to just kind of one-shot mostly everything, I'd say. I'm interested to see how rares will work, too, because rares always had somewhat of a larger health pool than normal mobs, and I'm sure now it's just kind of a little bit more crazy. Let's see. 92, I feel like I could still just run around. I might just have to Shadow Bolt and then use Corruption. Yeah. Okay. So obviously leveling's still kind of a joke, I guess. Sometimes it looks like I got a little bit of a power spike, so I'm assuming, yeah. So I ended up just getting stats on my uh, things here. So that's what that power spike's kind of coming from. Um, once we get Imp and Agony, I'm sure it'll be about about the same leveling experience as it was before. I'm wondering what level I'll be by the time I leave the starting zone to. And I'm going to try to keep these episodes around 20 minutes. Just so you guys know. I'll be shocked if there's a rare here. Because sometimes there's like a rare kobold guy over here. Yeah, it looks like he's a little dead. Hmm. It seems like... So do they... I'm wondering if the ones... Or the mobs in the... Like the starting, starting zones... Scale with you or not. Because it's not looking like it. And of course, I am all knowledgeable about the leveling subjects since I've leveled just a shit ton of tunes. I don't even know how many. I had one server full of 90s when Voyager Draenor came out. I have a server full of 110s right now. I've re-rolled on like four servers, I think, in the past. So I've leveled a, I've leveled a decent amount throughout every expansion. And I'll admit it already does feel better compared to what it was like at the beginning of Legion, where you just kind of shit on everything. So... We'll see what happens here. I need to remember not to jump in this thing. Because it's it's just loud as shit. I don't think I have any gold on this server, so I'm going to have to buy a battle pet and then uh, sell it. So I have a little bit of gold. I like how my beard sticks out of my cape. My thingy. The flavor saver. Okay. I don't think there's any rares over here. From what I'm, from what I know, I, there's no rares over here. There might be like a rare chest. But that's about it. Can I not melee? Oh, okay. I wish wands were still a thing, kind of. I'm actually pretty sad they got rid of wands. I guess it was just an extra loot item, though. On boss tables or whatever you want to call it. Loot tables? Boss tables. What am I saying? So basically, I just need to get weapons and put out fires. Shouldn't be that hard. So it's really all the fires that I need that are kind of a pain. And whenever you're leveling, you're going to want to... Instead of just killing stuff and then doing, I guess, interact interactions. So like, whenever you're leveling, you're going to want to do, say, for example, the fire quest I have and the orc weapon and quest I have right now. You're going to want to run around... And do the fire quest first. And while you're running around, you'll aggro people for the weapon quest. Uh, it's just a kind of leveling tip. I don't even know what that was. Just advice, I suppose. Okay. So it seems like, honestly, leveling speed-wise speed is about the same. 
I don't think Blizzard meant to change the speed of leveling all that much either, so... It's honestly one of these things I will just have to test out. How are you? Uh, okay. See you later. And I have an imp now. And we're out of the leveling... Ex leveling of the first zone already. We'll get that quest. Guess I'll summon this imp. Deals one fire damage. At least you'll you'll try. Hopefully. I'm just gonna go over here, kill this one guy. I've leveled a shit ton of humans, so. Um, I mean, if you pay attention to these videos, I think there might be a rare orc somewhere around here. <clears throat> Maybe. I don't know for sure. Wow, that thing does not hit for one. It hits for like forty. Alright. What else do we get here soon? So we have imps. I guess the next thing's life tap and then agony. I'm probably gonna stay affliction, I'd say. Maybe I'll... Ooh, you get chaos bow to level 12, though. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Of course, I can just switch through the specs as I level. Because, uh... At lower levels, your your spec doesn't really matter. Be careful. Okay, now this is where the fun part starts. Allegedly, Elwyn Forest scales from 1 to 20 now, and then every other zone scales from 20 to 60. Personally, I think they should have just made it so uh, it's 1 to 110 in any zone. That would have been pretty fucking great, but... Apparently, they thought 60 would be a good place to stop the level scaling, which somewhat makes sense since all of Kalimdor and Eastern Kingdoms are vanilla content, technically, not counting Cataclysm, but again, who really wants to level in Legion zones and Wrath of the Lich King zones? I'd rather have the Cataclysm zones scale to 110, 1 to 110, mainly because you almost never really get to experience a full Cataclysm zone, especially ever since Cataclysm came out, because you've leveled so fucking fast through them. So, yeah, you know, we'll just, uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm just gonna sell all the random things I don't need. Heroes Call Board. Interesting. I've heard about those. Apparently, they made a lot more of those so, like, people can go to different places or something like that. Some kind of concepts like that. I don't know. <clears throat> it's basically just advertising zones to go to. Also, another thing. They got rid of... Oh, never mind. They didn't. I was going to say they got rid of this one quest here. So I'm going to go do this Stormwind quest. Mainly because I just like getting it out of the way. Actually, I lied. Let's go do the the mind quest down here, over here. Good day to you. Oh, wait, this would be a good time to test out the scaling, actually. So everything should be level 5 or 6, maybe. I don't know. I haven't leveled a tune yet in the new zones, so... Level 4. Those are usually level 6, I'm pretty sure. So that's interesting. Uh, what'll really be interesting is once we get over here, over to that house over there, usually those mobs are level 8 or 9. There's also a rare in there. Usually. Um, unless people know that there's a rare in there, and then sometimes it won't be alive, but... Yeah, yeah, no, no, they're level 5 and 4. Sweet. So I guess hypothetically, you just run around and grind now, but... I don't think it's going to be very fast leveling. Hopefully the rare's in there, so this is actually worth my time. It seems like grinding would be a lot better, actually. I'm getting like... 100 XP per kill is about a fifth of a quest. 
No rare. Damn. And now they're not worth as much. So usually there's a rare just kind of in here. She'll be, it's a female, but she's usually just right near the window. And then there's another rare over here most of the time. Unless they got rid of rares. If they got rid of rares, I'd be shocked. Usually there's a sleeping bear over here and it's also dead. So uh, I came over here for nothing, in other words. So let's go to the mines. Once we get to the mines. I mean, I mean, we're just going to do the quests. God, that motorcycle jumping sound is just way too loud, if you ask me. It seems a lot louder than any other kind of mount sound. So the only reason I'm coming over here is there's pretty much just like you get the quest, you kill a mob that's like right here. It's the princess quest if you don't know what it is. Um, she's basically just going to tell you to kill that, and it's going to be on respawn timer now, which is terrific. Hello. Maybe. Yep, terrific. Alright. Let's move this pet bar over here, and I guess we'll just start doing the quests over here. Sometimes there will be chests when you level, by the way. Um, sometimes the chest... I think now every time you find a chest, it does give you experience and somewhat good loot. So I'd watch out for those. It doesn't seem like there's any. There might be one inside if I really want to look for it, but... Of course we have to go inside anyway. I'm sure people will love playing... Uh, Alliance with me. Seems like Moonfire still hits fairly hard. It's interesting that it kind of cut the... Ooh, I wonder... That would be something to test out how much, I guess, experience or... I think you get experience from mining now. I think you've always kind of gotten experience. Uh, respawn timers are going to be a little stupid, probably. With everyone leveling new tunes, I'm assuming. Yeah, there's... Okay. Level 4. That's so weird seeing. At least I have freaking bag space already. Surprised I got a full bag pouch, whatever this row of bags is called. Is there really a point in me even shadow bolting things? Because my pet does as much damage as a shadow bolt. That's the first time I've seen that. I don't know what to think of the new changes. I mean, they're not bad. That's for sure. I don't see them being bad. Ever, really. Okay. Everything's dead over here. What's the point of the human racial if you already have a kind of built-in honor talent that does that? I guess it's more for world PvP. But then again, world PvP's probably still broken. Probably, I don't know. Now I just need one more candle. We'll go do the princess quest later, I guess. I'm gonna play with this real quick. Um, events, heals, skill crits, melee crits. There's 
Okay, pet incoming pet. There we go. All right, Zach. Okay, it's just gonna do that every time. Toggle all. Um, is there a way to just? Please, I just wanna. Whatever. It's pointless now. I'll fix it later. How are you? See you around. All right. I'll probably ding from this. One last quest. Good day to you. Yep. All right. Well, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Um, I'm gonna be leveling this guy all the way to 110, hopefully, just to see kind of how the leveling zones work and how Wrath of Lich King and all that other stuff works in general. But hopefully, it's not too bad. Um, the only thing I'm not excited for is leveling through Legion and Wards of Draenor, so that's gonna be a pain. But other than that, I'm sure this series will be somewhat fun for me because I haven't leveled an alliance in forever. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. If you guys have any questions, comments, tips, concerns, anything like that, leave them in the comment section below. There's a bunch of social media in the description of the video as well. If you want to follow those, then feel free to do so. As always, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.